hi guys welcome once again to my youtube channel my name is Ogundi um, in this video i'm going to be showing you how to add a card to your paypal account and i'm also going to be talking about the type of card um, you should add to your paypal account and um, if you have been following my channel the, in my last video i talked about how to create um, a working paypal account in nigeria and I promise you that um, in my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a card to your PayPal account and also going to be talking about the type of card that you should add to your PayPal account. You know, I'm making this video now based on so many, you know, requests, so many comments um, in the comment section like, ah, we are waiting for the next video, this and that. And, um, you know, I'm here to fulfill my promise. And um, please, I want you to just do um, two things for me now. The first thing is to watch, make sure you watch this video till the head because it's going to be a very um, useful one and the second thing is for you to click on the um, subscribe button and also to click on the bell icon beside it because uh, in my next video you are going to be getting more on um, more cool video you understand so you won't miss it let's go deep into this video now all right now we are going to log into our um, paypal account the one we created in the last video if you have not watched my video please go and watch that video and I'm doing this for people that want to um, actually have a PayPal account that is working in Nigeria. So you'll be able to, um, you know, withdraw money into your um, Nigeria account and this and that, you understand? So that is why I'm creating this video now. All right, so let's log into our account without wasting our time. So let's log in. If you are just watching this video now, there's a part one of this video where I um, explain the step by step process of creating a working PayPal account in Nigeria. And um, this is the next part where I'm going to be talking about the type of card you should add to it and then, um, you know, how to go about it. All right, now, I'm already in into my account. I've already logged into my account now. Um, what I'm going to do now is this. I'm going to click on this profile um, where you have your name. You can see my name. I'm going to click on it. When you hover on it now, you're going to see, uh, you go to account settings, all right? Then you click on the account settings. Even if, if we follow my um, previous video, we even we, we came down to this place to do one or two things there, right? So now, on that account setting, I'll quickly go to, um, um, you know, we have business information, a lot of stuff, but you go to money, banks, and card, all right? Yeah, you click on money, bank, and cards. That's where you're going to be adding your card. And I said I'm going to be showing you the type of card you should add. Now, look at this card that I'm holding here right now. Uh, let me just sh let me try to move my camera close all right so this is a uba um prepaid account um, a, a uba prepaid card rather or you can also call it a uba afri card so if you want to get your card you can easily go to any uba bank and request for a what a visa card this is a uba visa dollar card you understand just tell them you want a uba prepaid card and you want the usd part of it so this is the card I use. It's a prepaid card and it's a dollar card. You understand? And um, even if you are not a UBA user, you can still go there to request for what for this card. Once you are just going there, just make sure you go with your um, means of identification, like your ID card and your utility bill um, receipt, and then your passport, just a passport. I think those are the three things they are going to request from you. Okay? So this is the card I use for my um, my my PayPal. And I'm sorry for blocking out the um, you know the numbers there. You know I have to keep myself secure. Okay, so this is a prepaid card, um, Visa card, Dollar card from UBA Bank. That's what you should use for your what, for your PayPal account. Many people have tried to use so many a uh, lot of um, uh, cards. You understand? They have used GTC. They have used so many. Sometimes it works for some people, and some people it doesn't work for them. You understand? So, but if you try this card now, uh, because it's working for me right now, it's working and it's going to work for you too so that's it just get a prepaid card you be a prepaid card or you call it you be afri card and it's a dollar or it's a dollar card okay all right so and i'm going to tell you what to do to it all right just stay tuned in this video so let me just go to this money banks and card then i'm going to click on um link new card you can see we have several payment options there where you want to you know the, the kind of um preferred way to pay your stamp but i'm going to use what this card your stamp i'm going to click on link a new card so let's click on it now all right then i'm going to be adding my card details um i'm going to be blowing out this part you understand because i'm doing this thing live for you to see you understand i'm adding my card details now in this video but i'm going to blow it out so that you know i have to keep things safe right so let me quickly add it 
then you are going to select the card type um, you know in this case I'm using a visa card I'm going to select the visa card then it's going to ask for the expiring date and um, you know just like the normal way you add your debit card to your stores I, I think I'm good to go can you see something now look at the screen now it's telling me that what you linked your visa prepaid ending with what two five four five you understand so that's a, that's the card I just linked to it now you understand and this is what I'm going to do for you now I'm going to quickly check my mail because I'm going to receive a mail you understand telling me that my card has been linked and um, let me see if I have my mail open here do I have it open okay let me, let's just do that here now okay let me just go to my mail hey okay, I just I have um, this my mail here yeah, let's see so let's just check my mail account to see the notification that I'm going to receive from them or that I've received from them I believe by now I should receive a mail so I'm trying to log into my uh, my mail account my email account so as to confirm if they have sent me um, 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 a message can you now see now oh can you see you added a card to your PayPal account. Let me just quickly open this mail and show you. Can you see? Here are the details. Blah 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 blah. On November 24, this and that, you added a card ending with this and that. You understand? So that's just a message I got for them, from them rather. So you go back to this place now, and then you click on what done. You know, I added my card details and I click on and I check my mail to confirm it. I'm going to click on done. All right. So let's see. Alright, my card has been added now. Can you now see something now? You can see that my card has been added, but it's showing unverified. Okay? Now, that's why I say you should you should make sure you pay attention to this video and um, make sure you watch it to the end. Now, you click on, after adding your card, after clicking on the done button, you can see that this card is showing unverified. It means you have added your card, but you have not verified it if it's going to work or not. Because even if you add your normal bank account, your normal ATM card, whatever, it's going to tell you that you have added your card. Fine. But it might not work so that's what we need to what do now you click on this edit button here now the edit button you click on it after clicking on it then um you you know you can decide to give it a nickname or whatever but i don't need that so i'm just going to click on what confirm your card okay and I'll, I'll, I'll click on confirm your card okay now can you see something now look for a small charge on your card you understand after you request a code we will charge you they are going to charge you 1.9 usd you know you understand it's usually appear within two to three business days after you confirm it it will refund the amount we are they are going to refund the amount now this is what i'm going to say now after creating this your card after going to the bank to collect this your uba prepaid card make sure that you, are, you have at least let's say like two thousand naira inside that inside the account like you can fund it in dollars you know it's a dollar account definitely you are going to look for a means to you know get dollars and then um, you know pay it into your what your your, your dollar your this is your dollar card your prepaid card you understand so that's the way you do that you can just go to those um um guys those are okay you understand that you get dollar from them in a city of nera then you take it back to the bank and deposit it into this your card you understand just like i think um um five dollars is okay you understand or even three dollars is okay yeah, they only need two dollars okay but the thing is just that you know the bank for you to be able to reset your pin they are going to charge like maybe four dollars or so i think uh yeah for less than four dollars so at least if you have like maybe four five six dollars is okay you understand that inside this card you understand then for you to be able to verify your um card with paypal they are going to charge you 1.95 usd which they are going to refund back to your account they are just wanting you to make sure that yes yeah, so this card is working it's working fine and they are going to send you a code once you click on the get a code button and now let's just do that now so i'm going to click on get a code now and because i already have um, money in this my account i have some usd in my account so it's very fine so i can just go ahead and click on the get a code then i click on it now so a code is on its way it should appear on your card statement within two to three business day okay so that's it well i just got a message now on my sms that's why it's if you follow my previous video you always have to use your your, your nigerian phone number you understand so I get a message now from um, um, my SMS now, you understand? And um, the code has been sent to me and that's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to use to, you know, um, finish up this stuff, okay? And I'll click on done. They, they are actually sending this just to confirm if you are really the owner of the card, you understand? And they have debited the 1.95 USD. 
So if this debit is possible, definitely your account can easily, your card can easily work with your paper. Then they can easily also work. Um, you can easily withdraw money from your paper into this um, card that you added, your standard you've added. Okay. Then I click on done. I've received my code already. So, and um, you know, I can even show you the code on my screen. I'll, I'll try. I'll show you. I'll show you the message I got from them, if possible. Okay. Now look at it now. They asked me to check my card statement for the code and then enter the code to confirm your old, your card. All right. So that's it. And this, that's what I'm going to be doing now. Okay. Uh, because I've received the code already. And the, we will lift your spending or withdrawal limit. Now let's go now. It's just a four-digit code. I, now can you see something now? Can you see a message here now? They say we have charged one point nine five years to your card. To confirm your card, enter the four-digit code that appears on your card activity. Next to the charged amount you understand you know the bank statement the alert you got it contained the code and um it's close to the charge amount okay so i'm going to enter it now and i'm going to blow it can you ask something now your visa prepaid has been confirmed wow this is cool so that's just it i got my message i got my code from um on my sms you understand the one i used to work um you know register you understand i'm talking about the line i used to work to register this account and i got it from my what um uba debit alert because you know they debited the dollar from my from my dollar account and i received the word the um the alert so now your visa prepared has been confirmed and then you click on done so let's see what's going to happen next yeah so i don't want to give it a nickname and um that's just it. just waiting for these guys to load so can you see now that my bank now does not have um uh what's it called it doesn't have anything like um unverified again so i didn't verify and everything is set now so that's just it then i go back to my dashboard So that's how to what, add your card to your what, to your PayPal account and everything is fine now. And um, uh, one more thing again is um, in my next video, I'm going to be showing you how you can withdraw money from your PayPal account to your um, what's it called to your card and also how to what cash it out in Naira or whatever you understand. That's what I'm going to be talking about in my next video. So please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, uh, kindly click on the board, the subscribe button. It's free. And also, if you want to be getting updated on my next video, um, you kindly click on the, the bell icon and, um, you know, and also try to give my video a thumbs up if you like this video. And then um, also try to use the comment section in case you have one or two things to, uh, to comment about this video. And um, thank you very much. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.